welcome back to Richie Outdoors. Today we will be turning this roundabout next to this road into home for the night. We've got some new gear to try and we've got some nice food to cook. So let's go for it. guys nice to see you thanks for tuning in and today we are going to be in the old industrial town of Bilston and we're going to be just outside the town on the big main road I've been online shopping I've got some new gear I've got a new tent and chair to try and the roundabout itself there's no footpaths or anything going into it and I should hopefully fingers crossed get a bit of cover I've never been there before so we're going in blind and we've got a nice chicken curry to cook which should be quite lovely jubbly so let's just make our way up to the roundabout nice one Well there it is guys, there's the roundabout we're going to be stopping on. Now all we've got to do is try and get in there. I'm going to wait for a bit of a break in the traffic and where I want to try and get in is just in between those bushes there. It's now or never. Well, we were quite lucky then. There was a little bit of a break in the traffic. So I made a dash for it. And that couldn't have gone any better really. Nice one. There's nobody inside and it looks pretty untouched, the wind can't get us and one thing I was going to explain when inside, I was going to talk you through the angles of approach with the traffic but there's no need, nobody can see us which is a bonus for us so it looks like we'll be able to spend 
all night here without any bother really and I've seen this little patch of grass and I'm thinking maybe put the tent on there it's just in the middle it looks pretty nice so let's get the bag off and get this new gear out happy days sleeping which is the Vango Soul 100 I need a sort of like budget tent $42.99 this was um, off eBay same as the chair and eBay actually has the manufacturers or the retailers selling on there directly and they offered a good discount but I thought I'd try them out We've also got our tar and pegs and cords with us because we are forecast a little bit of rain. So what I might do is get the chair out and give that a bit of a check first and then set the tarp up just so we've got somewhere to sit underneath if it does start raining. It's quite windy today and it was raining on and off earlier. It's dried up but still windy. So first things first, we'll put this to one side, we'll get the chair out so we've got somewhere to sit and we'll set our tarp up. too long and anybody who watches the channel would know that what I normally do is take a normal camping chair folding chair and wrap it in a rain cover and tie it to the bag but this should be a lot quicker and easier because it folds down to a decent size so I can put it in the bag I'm impressed so far we'll do the sit down test and get that tarp set up
not too bad it's holding us up it's small and lightweight and it's strong so that's passed the test for me now what I'm thinking there's a nice tree just there and I'm probably going to come to this one here so let's get this chair out of the way and set the ridge line up Well that's our top all set up, I've double pegged it into the ground and I've just taken off some of these trees, there's loads of trees around and it looks pretty good, it's nice and sturdy, nice and secure and what I hope to do is set the tent up underneath there, tent time. Well then dudes, that's the tent set up, we've got our tarp set up and our new chair and we are forecast a little bit of rain late tonight into tomorrow morning so this will all get the full test. So it is going dark, the next best thing for us to do is to get some food on. We can relax now. We have a nice chicken korma to cook tonight. Well everyone, we have come to the best time of the day, which is dinner time. 
we have some chicken curry, some korma, we've got some breast there, which we're going to chop up on the chopping board. We've got some extra seasoning, some pepper and some garlic. We're going to use the oil to fry that up. And then last but not least, we're going to add some rice. We're going to throw all that on the stove, let it simmer for a while. Lovely jubbly, yummy yummy for our tummy. Mm. It's a good job we set this tarp up because when we were cooking our food it started splitting a little bit and then it started raining and I don't know if you can hear it but it's actually raining cats and dogs out there now so we've moved all of our stuff underneath the tarp we put our food to one side to cool down let's just sit tight hopefully should pass over so tomorrow morning we can wake up to a bright fresh lovely day well isn't this atmospheric this looks and smells delicious and I do believe that it is just what the camping doctor ordered. Mm. 
very nice. Perfect, in fact. If only you could taste and smell these. Perfect temperature. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Nice big chunks of chicken. Great ratio of rice to curry. And at least we're nice and dry. Bellissimo. Mm, it tastes magnifico. Right then dudes, the weather is just so bad out there. So windy and rainy. You can't really do anything and I'm really tired so I'm gonna get my head down now and I'll see you in the morning nice one That was a good night's sleep, I must say. The tent is a bit bigger than my old one, so I could fit my bag inside with us. So that's a bonus. And there's also a little porch area just big enough to put the boots in as well, so we don't have to tread all the muddy. I'm really quite pleased with the tent. It had a good rain test and we're bone dry so yeah all in all not too bad we've got pockets and stuff plenty of ventilation there's not too much condensation this morning so for the money I'm impressed it looks like it's a nice day outside so we'll get our boots on open up and get outside Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh, what a beautiful day! Well, the weather this morning, as promised by the weatherman, is much better. At least we haven't got to pack away in the rain. We didn't get disturbed last night at all, and our setup worked fantastic. Let's get the gear packed away.
Well, operation takedown is complete. And you can see there where the tent was. And I can't say that we've left zero trace because I obviously have where I've been treading on the grass and where we set the tent up. But I'm pretty sure that'll bounce back. And unless I can learn how to fly, I'm always gonna be controlled by gravity. But I can assure you we've left no rubbish. We've even picked up a few of the bits and pieces that other people have left as well. And we've got our rubbish bag there, and there's our bag. But it's all ready to rock. All that's left for us to do is get the sack on our back and hit the road jack. We gotta get out of this place if it's the last thing we ever do. Nice day for it. Well then dudes, thanks for coming with me, I enjoyed that, I hope you did, and as always thanks for watching, thanks for watching to the end, thanks for all the views, likes, comments and subscribes, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time on Richie Outdoors, nice one.